We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world-class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, we believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultimeek.net Help us call Electric, become a member. Alright. A little something special for the WGGGGGMBCC. A lyrical sculpture in the sand that I carve. This is Flash on the mic, now on the Algarve. From 40 to 60, we are on the attack. If I can just get some vitamin I from my back, foot on the line, yeah, I'm ready to go. Or did I just pull a muscle? Hold on for a moment, play it cool. Just act like I'm young. Got flicks on my wrist and lyrics on my tongue. 20 more, 10 more years left to go. Tricks from the past and a buttery flow. A little slow off the start. I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. I got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Yeah, I got some dodgy knees. Disc in my hand and the sun in the sky. My dad bod goes jiggle and my hucks they fly. The spirits are rising like a disc on the breeze, going miles out of bounds to the Portuguese seas. I played a point, yeah, I need a sub and a good long soak in an XL tub. Don't need to run anymore, I'm one of 14 handlers. Happy Gilmore more this disc like we're all Adam Sandlers. I'm slow off the start. I like to call it brisk. The sunshine glints on my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. We got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Alright, let's finish this off. My six foot two still works in the bar. I can see from miles. Got drinks on my radar. Porta Mile party is the place we flee for the friends we see and these great memories. Yeah, I feel the spirit as I pull every sinew. Shatter my knees, yet we're gonna continue. Take this hand, better yet carry me from the beach to the bar, better yet to the sea. I'm slow off the start, I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got none of the pivots, but all of the throws. Welcome back to the party in Portimao. The World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships 
continues with Team Finland up against Canada's best before, and it's Benji Reese in the booth alongside Hannah Pendlebury. You enjoy your first uh, your first taste of WGGMB UCC action? I absolutely did, and I'm loving that tractor action as well, making sure right. that. We Thank you. get lots of traction with the big old wheels on the sand out here in Portimao. Yeah, we had a bit of a, a speedy first game, so we're able to bring you some bonus content, which is what we're all about here on this Ulti TV stream. Uh, you can see the, the cliff sides here, keeping the uh, architecture of the touristy part of Portimao far from view, but a decoration from the local youths, of course. <laughs> But uh, speaking of youths, we've got some youngsters that will be appearing on the uh, the beach before us. Had a little chat to Best Before ahead of time. And they've actually got a young German athlete who's uh, playing for them. Yeah. Look out for number 66, Jörg Hoffman. Um, Jörg, I think. Anyway, yeah. So he actually came across to Canada from Germany for love. He married a Canadian lady. And this... Uh, this Canadian side, mostly from Nova Scotia, uh, east coasters, lots of beaches, quite cold in that part of the world compared to the lovely balmy overcast day we have here in Portugal. But uh, they say their most fun person is their spirit captain, number 14, and Todd, the experienced silver fox, will be at the helm. But uh, looking across to Team Finland, clues the name of course, they have a very nippy young lady with them so look out for her um, I'm trying to think exactly what jersey she's wearing but you'll see her on the side she's wearing some fantastic skins with an orange cross on I believe you're talking about uh, Pia Hestbacher yeah she's absolutely fantastic she's dynamite we, on sand we last year came away just with a little bit of a frisbee crush I think just as a collective unit certainly and she's playing on this team with her husband uh, Mikael Heisbacher as well who is kind of a bit of a dark horse and he is known as the uh, the most fun person on team Finland would you believe I mean he's my favorite just because he put in any other interesting facts he says you're doing a great job which you know Thank you. We appreciate that. We all need a little bit of affirmation first thing on a tournament. You know, you stand in front of the mirror sometimes saying it to yourself. But when someone's written it in their club survey, then uh, that makes it all the better. Yeah, he says his career highlight was winning the bronze medal in Sardinia last year with his wife. Which is Fantastic. Very sweet. And there's some, uh, some, some legends amongst this team. And then Pekka Bob Ranta, who still plays... His first coach from 1982 of Michael Hastbacher. And of course, Kenny Dobbins as well. Big, big hero. Yeah, these, these names kind of ingrained with the sports history. It's always interesting when you, uh, you, know, when you, when you cover the, uh, the older age divisions, finding out who the sporting kind of heroes are and the, that, that kind of crossover. Indeed, and they uh, inspire young, young players as well. And it, of course, in the senior divisions, there are many players from Espo, which is where many of the Team Finland players currently reside. Atletico, of course, the women's side coming out of Espo. So just waiting for the first ball to go up, and we are underway here on the sand. Team Finland beginning the game on offence. Underneath cut now from Olvio. Pop that into the backfield. The diminutive Hasebacker opening up the arm with the blade downfield. Well judged and well weighted. Olvio on the end zone line. Wants to get this in and will do so as well. Nice clean hold. Good possession there to start the game for the Finns. Yeah, just a really nice, simple bit of offense. An expansive shot from indeed who else but the impressive Piero Haskpacker. And we'll see it again on the replay. Just getting low to the ground, rolling the wrist around that blade. It's Timo Oviol in stride just outside the end zone and then fake the flick, redirect traffic back in towards the centre of the pitch where Aki Vettari is there to catch for the 1-0 lead. Yep, nice and simple. Just moving your body around on sand with conviction 
which is a key thing to do. This surface, we're talking about it all through the Beach Ultimate Championships. It's a bit of a nightmare on defense if you don't pay enough attention and think about buffering correctly, protecting the right side of the pitch. But a nice start for Team Finland, 1-0. Yeah, we were talking before the game about how uh, the kind of Masters tends to go two different ways in terms of team name. There's kind of the, the knowing reference as you get in best before, or there is the kind of the, the straightforward Team Finland, which is, I must admit, very Finnish. It causes a bit of a, a rupture between teams sometimes. So when we entered the gr just normal Masters, not quite reached the lofty heights of Grand Masters or Great Grand Masters just yet. It was a discussion within our team for Thundering Herd Mixed Masters whether or not we should go for uh, something a bit fun, maybe some herd immunity, uh, but all of the pun names got voted down. Tragic. Perhaps some tactical efforts from our captain, Sean Colfer, to try and split the pun vote. And it worked out marvellously, shall we say. Nelson. Faro's little inside channel there to Debia. Dished off to McCauley. Been very friendly with the volunteers in the warm up. Indeed, came over and told them what a great job they were doing. We love to see it. Beasy. Finds Nelson. Nelson wants to squeeze that one through. It's a little bit offline, but. Uh, Yeah, McCauley seems to think that there's a foul call, but uh, no, just just a straight turnover after the elder statesman got bested by a bit of a zesty flick. Yeah, it's a little bit behind, so he's going to try and get the hands snapped around it, but can't do so. Shoranta shooting deep over the top, brilliant throw, perfectly rated for Henna Yolavara. That'll be 2-0 to Team Finland. Yep, and this is a great way to start for the Finns. We saw a couple of uh, big scoreline differences across the pitches here at the Grandmasters World Championships in the first game, which is sort of what you expect from pool stages. Some bigger gaps between the teams, and hopefully those will tighten up towards the business end of this tournament. But a lovely bit of offense from Team Finland. Yeah, they just find Sharanto instantly with that first pass. And he has no hesitation in putting it deep for uh, Yelavara. We know that the Finns have been playing together for a really long time. They have connections that go back, would you believe it, all the way to the mid-80s, 85 and 86. Yeah, players who have spent their lives together playing ultimate. Strutting their stuff out here, going for a little bit of inside-out shape on that deep look. It was an ambitious effort trying to find Badertha. And I, I admit, I love the attempt, even if the execution wasn't quite there on that occasion. I think Hoffman was the throw. Vasco will pick up. Towards the sideline. Ty Volkowski. Vasquez wearing those uh, calf compression sleeves. That one straight run through by Lamontagne. Francois Lavigne faking the backhand. Vasquez now gets back into position. Still count rising here. Little one underneath. Just a bit of a friendly hug on the back there from Vasquez. In the red zone. Can they find a way through? That time they will do. Bodertha to Hoffman puts best befores. First point on the board, 2-1 to the Finns. Do we think that was a push pass from Bodertha? I'll tell you what, I'd have to look at I'd have to have a look at the replay and uh, and give you the give you the tip. Well, either way, best before punch their first one in. Much needed. I love the run through here. Turns on the Jets and just closes off with the body, does Man Manuel Lamontagne. 
you know, Riston Yemi's maybe just a little bit blindsided, perhaps. Doesn't realise quite how close the defence is. And here's that scoring pass from Badertha. It's not quite the push pass, but there's a little bit of just a little bit of roll across it there. Yeah, it doesn't quite need to put too much on it. Just uh, just sort of sitting it on a string almost to be collected by George Hoffman. Team Finland up a break here, 2-1. Oh, and, and it's a bit, a bit of flavour about Mr Hoffman. He loves to play the violin with his three daughters. Wow. See if he can make some beautiful music alongside his Canadian teammates. Imagine that, a familial string quartet. I can indeed imagine that. And what a beautiful sound they must make together. Although, admittedly, you need to teach one of them the viola and another one the cello, but you'll get there. Oh, no, you can t you can have four four violin players, and it's a good crossover, actually. I, I was taught violin, Benji, but I actually always believe I should have been a cellist. I seem to get on with them much better. I could see that. Here's a deep shot. Asikainen. Again, the deep game is on the money for Team Finland. Hannah Yalavara catching her second goal of the game. 3 1. Yeah, nice and easy stuff for the Finns going over the top. I'm not sure who was necessarily tasked with uh, trying to match up Yalavara, but either way, she ended up in acres of room. Perhaps maybe some zone gone awry or just a sneaky little move. And this is utilising the wind really well, just putting it a bit more air underneath it, getting it behind the defence and backpedalling and reading well is Yelavara on that deep put from Asakainen. Yeah, we saw in the first game a lot of players get bested by this wind that's currently going from right to left as our camera view has it of this lovely sandy pitch. Maximum gusts of about 23 to 25 kilometers per hour, which of course is much higher than we saw at the European Beach Championships a couple of days ago. But of course, for these veteran throwers, it's just, you know, but a small obstacle to be overcome. Team Finland very much on board the uh, kind of the thigh compression sleeves, it seems. Well, you know, it will be... Uh, Ibuprofen and Paracet, a bit of bit, vitamin I, as, as it's getting lovingly referred to, including in our wonderful pre-stream opening rap by Steve Flashiger. Best before now, trying to reduce the deficit again. Nice flow underneath Delahanty. Punches that one into Carbin on that continuation throw, just offline. Mikhail Hesbacher leaves it for his wife, who then swings it to him. Alvio. Nice underneath cut made there. Now in the backfield. Hesbacher towards the line. That sounds like there's been a pick. Yep, the pick, 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 pick. <laughs> Good communication from the sideline. Although yep. Team Finland don't seem to be following the play very much, Benji. Yeah, we'll just, just maybe see some hand signals, make that a little bit clearer. Backer again, sits down on that flick, finds Vitari. Outside the end zone now with Ristin Niemi. Back to Hastbacker. There's a bit of an inside window there. She thought about taking it on, but a defender did very well to sit into that space and taking advantage of that by throwing it out to space. Hoffman on the back shoulder cannot make the ground up. And Vitari catches for another Team Finland break, 4-1. Yeah, lovely, lovely play from the Finns. Again, we already said how devastatingly impactful she would be for Team Finland. And once again, getting involved in the score, Pira Hasbaka. Who's a bit of an enigma to us. We don't know too much about her life. Apart from the fact that she's a right-handed defensive handler. And that is exactly why it sits low into that pivot. Not got the biggest wingspan, so has to release low and wide. Yeah, open up because they had the inside break there. I think they knew it and that meant Hoffman knew it as well. Sat in the space, but
but good recognition actually from Vitari to powerfully cut by the time Hoffman reacts. They're behind and sealed out of the play slightly. A little shot of our volunteer scorekeepers there. They've got awesome volunteer on the back of their shirts and deservedly show. Yeah, these big tournaments cannot run without the help of federations and volunteers. Disc brought to the front of the end zone as it rolled out of the back by Cam Nelson. First cut underneath to Raynham. John Debian to Raynham. Again, going towards this sideline. The Finns trying to trap them there. BC, lovely little gainer down the line, but with not a lot of room to work with, they can't make the connection. Yeah, happy to take what they're given, but at the end, it just punches out of the fing fingertips. And that is another opportunity for Team Finland, who have been so clean. They haven't turned over yet. Yeah, the Finnish force is really trapping the Canadians on that four sideline. Underneath is Sharanta, past the bidding defender. And then looking out of the towards the far sideline, Yalavara cannot come up with the goods. Well, comes Curse. They had she already had one turnover. That's their second for Team Finland. They have been pretty ruthless so far, which is why, of course, they have that three-point lead. Raynham past Asakainen, who throws himself to the floor in pursuit. Nelson to BZ in the backfield. And this tight defense, Benji, will start to make a real difference. The Finns throwing themselves all over the sand. And that one, you can see what happened. Terry's had it judged well, looked downfield, and the clap of doom, as I think you christened it. The disc just not quite there. That yeah. one, I'm pretty sure that Asakainen would have had a chance at it had he not lost his footing in the sand. Which is easier, set, uh, not easier said than done, easier done than said. Well, Lady Luck perhaps giving a bit of oxygen for Team Cannon. Not team Canada, the best before even. Oh, and that's a lovely leading pass straight into the end zone. Yalavara is a scoring machine, it seems, picking up her third goal of the game. Uh, this time, Kertula with the assist. It feels like best before are not far away, but Finland have just been very clinical. They have, apart from two points, they haven't turned over, especially when they've been getting the defensive blocks, although a little gift again given to Team Finland. Pick up and go, bish, bash, bosh. Yeah, as soon as that disc turns over, the Finnish players are right on it looking for, can we gain quick yards? Is there a quick deep shot available? So what are your thoughts, Benji, on loosed mixed as a division? So officially it's it is, it is it's an open division, but they are, but yeah, the Bula suggested to everyone that we play loose mixed. Well, it's, it's interesting that you say officially it's the open division, because when you look on the Beach Ultimate Championships website, it says that the division is loose mixed by nature. In which case, I, I stand corrected. Thank you. I think it's good at the previous championships. We saw some teams bring women, but not necessarily all of them. And uh, yeah, I, I think in the future, I think working up to full mix is maybe the idea of the goal. But at this stage, loose mix is maybe a transition to that. It's not not the worst idea as Vasco punches that one into Olvio. And the Finns are in cruise control at the moment, up 6-1. See it again, just dump swing offense from the Finns. Vaskio stands tall. Sees the sees the, the receiver's got maybe a step of separation, but utilizes the uh, utilizes the placement of the throw to throw it to that outside shoulder, where the defender does not have a shot at it. And 
indeed sitting one shy of half our team Finland and in dominant style so in terms of the my question about the division we'll talk about it at the next sort of big stoppage that we get here potentially but uh, it's about saying what difference does that make versus a straight open format so with the the way that loose mix is is being played at this tournament is that uh, offense chooses number of women on the line and the defense has to at least match that there's nothing to stop you putting on extra female matching players. Of course, experienced female athletes will be uh, very used to matching up against male players as well. Especially when you've been playing for such a long time. I think it's kind of understandable that there will be those, those times when there aren't the opportunities to, uh, to match up gender. That one was a very physical bid, actually, from Marcio. But, but a big hand block. Yeah, well, why, why put the layout bid in where you can just get the hand block anyway? Well, it's a big part of being a good defender, Benji, is actually being really tight, being really close. So it's a bit more physicality than I'd like from the Finns. They are bidding for stuff perhaps a bit too close to the bodies of the best before players. But... That's what you've got to do is get inside the head of your opponent. And that's what, by playing that grindy, really close defense the whole time, it starts to make people second guess themselves. Koivico to Marcio. And Marcio finds Mikovili. And that is a 7 1 half time lead for Team Finland, who have been magnificent. They really have. This is a masterclass in picking up the disc quickly and punching in those breaks. We've had two points so far where Team Finland have turned over at all. We've had one where they gave up on a defensive break opportunity, which meant that the best before team were able to put their first on the board. Then, of course, a couple of points ago, we had two turnovers for the team Finland and three turnovers to best before but a remarkably clean game in general yeah the Finns just been so clinical and so parsimonious with the disc scarcely giving the, uh, the Canadians any opportunity and they're moving so much faster They've really sort of turned up to the game with a lot of energy, a lot of fuel in the tank, whereas it seems that best before are perhaps being more a la Steve Chaguer's rap, more handler-led than leg-led. I think it does help that Team Finland do have a, a few extra players that they can call upon. So you can just keep, keep players a little bit fresher, give them a bit more zest in the legs. And in fact, actually, one of the uh, players for best before is currently missing from this tournament. He will be arriving later this evening, and that will be Danny on their team. So let me just check which one he is. I think that might be Danilo De Matera, number 44, who's actually Filipino originally. Lucia has arrived with a tray that I am very interested in. I'm going to grab, get myself some refreshments. And he's from uh, the club team UP Sunken Pleasure. So we get ourselves some icy cool refreshments. Thank you, Lucia. Some iced tea, of course. I've gone for uh, I've gone for some full fat cola. Yeah, well, unfortunately, no Coke Zeros for me. It's uh, I'm going to have to go for some sugar rather than caffeine to give myself a little boost. But at the moment, people who don't need any more caffeine or any more sugar, they've clearly had a treble espresso to start their day off. It's Team Finland. But uh, but yes, the Canadians waiting for their Filipino player, Danny. De Matera to turn up. He's got the long. He's had the longest journey in terms of not necessarily the physicality coming from Halifax, but certainly the longest wait. I love the roar from the finish sideline as that pull will pin best before on the back corner to start, and they get the rewards as well. That throw skimming across the sand is going to give them the incredibly short field to break to start the second half. Now playing outside the end zone, oh, a big bid comes in from Hoffman. He got his hands to it, but not quite quickly enough. And uh, Perho makes the catch to make it 8-1 to the Finns. Must admit, best before, despite the mistakes that they're making, 
defensively they are you know they're getting in there they're they're causing a little bit of threat but as you maybe would expect for the Finnish veterans they are ice cool yep absolutely unflustered by the attempts of best before to snag the disc back after they're just sort of having some moments where they are just perhaps giving the disc away a little bit being a bit loose Benji so here's the offense after the turn Vitari happy to use you lose those yards to keep the disc moving quickly and then Vitari getting the disc back punching it into Perho makes it 8-1 to Team Finland well, these games 45 minutes long and played to 13, but I'm not sure we're going to have to use all regulation time to close this one out with the way that the Finns are currently playing. Oh, the solid pull from Team Finland. Something a little bit different defensively this time, though. Utilising a zone, we'll see how well Best Before can deal with it. The match to fetch has been working, but I quite like changing things up because you might need to utilise this later in the weekend, so why not get it out now? Well, See if it you does can iron out any kinks. Sorry, Hannah. Seems to be playing straight into the hands of Best Before, giving them that time to think a little bit more about their pass as they go over the top. And an acrobatic effort there from Raynham. Couldn't quite come up with it. Visionary option, just a little bit of inside-out shape, sitting it over the top of the defence, but a really difficult throw to track coming over the head of Raynham. Well, it did hit him in both hands, so he was so nearly there, just couldn't quite piece it all together. Asakainen, as the sun beginning to peek through a little bit more strongly now, swings to Koiviko. Sharanta. Looking, flicking, resetting across the pitch. Koiviko, nice inside shot there through to Rote. And Rote finds Asakainen. Asakainen to the end zone, off the fingertips of Yalavara. Nearly had her fourth goal there. Yep, she has been extremely consistent so far this game. That's her first real true error. So zone gets set back on. Best before will try and deal with it. Last time I think we saw Team Finland a year ago wearing Finnish national team jerseys. This time, I think it's a screen printed cotton affair, which I must admit, cotton t cotton t-shirts does feel very old school ultimate. So I'm quite here for it. Oh yeah, but it doesn't look the most comfortable. If we see the sun come back out, it uh, is quite breezy, cool conditions here in Portimao today. So we see the two players with a little, little cuddle there. He's just showing how spirited these teams are, how much they just enjoy playing against each other. But uh, yeah, those cotton shirts could get quite claggy and unpleasant. They're a little bit sticky, mm. yeah, certainly. One of the two teams take a much earned, I'm, I confuse much earned and well needed, Take while they take a well earned breather, we're going to do the same in the booth. Don't go anywhere because the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships continues on the other side. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Back on the Pro de Roche Portimao for the World Great Grand Masters Beach Ultimate Club Championships. The very mouthy WGGMBUCC, Wagugumbukuk, which is not at all confusing. Team Finland up 8-1 here on best before. And with a disc, with the chance to earn another break. 
Indeed, they currently sit so far ahead in this match. They have six breaks to their name so far, having started this one on offense and breaking straight out of the half. Checked in, Asakainen goes underneath to Sharanta. He's looking towards that break side, doesn't see anything he likes there. So instead, has to pop it underneath and then just getting the defender suckered a little bit towards that break side. Roach comes towards the open side and makes it 9-1. Roach, a player who, by the way, has a fair amount of uh, uh, experience on the other side of the Atlantic playing uh, with various teams in Massachusetts after he w went to uh, went to Harvard University. Well, I'm talking about people who've been successful in the North American content, continent, even not continent, goodness. The, uh, I believe he's supposed to be wearing number nine for best before, but I can't quite see a number nine on the roster. But uh, we'll have to look out for him. He's uh, played with relics and won the US Beach National uh, Championship. It's Timo Vasco for Team Finland. There we go. Yeah, he was representing, uh, was representing relics as well at the World Masters Ultimate Club Championships in Limerick earlier this year as well. Yeah, we kind of don't necessarily see it so much now, but, but, but back in the day, which, again, I appreciate a very very master's phrase. Uh, Team Finland were the dominant European powerhouse. And they have a couple of programs that have kind of continued the legacy somewhat. But yeah, once upon a time, Team yeah. Finland were the big were the big bad guys in Europe. Well, and they were representing it with a plum at the World Ultimate Club Championships in Cincinnati as we see another bit of a loose disc from Best Before not quite connecting together. Pio Haysbacker wanting the quick pickup and zings that one into the end zone. Good awareness there from Sasu Perho. Makes it 10-1. This is the thing with Team Finland is that any mistakes Best Before have made, they've been punished so quickly and cleanly that I wonder if that's got in Best Before's heads a little bit as well, knowing that they've got to be so, they feel like any mistake is just so harshly punished that, uh, yeah, it does play in your mind a little bit. Well, it's part of it, though. We were talking about the, you know, the playing, the close defense and sort of, you know, breathing down the neck of your opponent, being there. There was a little bit of perhaps too much touching on a couple of the bids from Team Finland. But generally speaking, it sort of, you know, starts to build that pressure and it does seem to be getting to best before. But hopefully they can pick themselves up. This is not the first uh, big scoreline difference we've seen, of course, on this show pitch. No, and as we always point out, the game is not over until that final point is scored. And what a comeback that would be. I mean, wouldn't it just? Down the line, again, it's a case of the dropsies. McCauley looking at that next pass to try and keep the disc moving, and the disc bounces straight out of the grasp. Yalavara wants to squeeze that one down the line, despite the best effort of uh, Marcio, I think that is. Disc is into floor. Yeah, McCauley's turnover and the previous offensive possession for best before was quite close to the finish cheering section. They brought some of their family members, some very young looking individuals wearing Team Finland shirts, i.e. the national team strip. I have spotted them over on the far sideline. Lovely little inside shot there to Debian. I appreciate lovely little is probably my preferred normal culture for that, when I can say the word. Nelson. That one just off the hands of McCauley. Kurtula. Tavili. Billy, lovely around break. Now continuation. Asakainen wearing those sunglasses. And you can see the sweat on the cotton shirts. He throws one into the end zone. Finds Billy to make it 11 1. This Team Finland outfit looked like they've got their sights not just on equaling the bronze they got last time out, but maybe even improving it. Well, 
They've definitely come out ready to work. They are all... I said, we said about these cotton shirts, Benji. There are a number of uh, sweat patches starting to develop, showing the effort that these athletes are putting in. That was a huge effort to try and redeem that slightly ambitious disc from Yalavara. Yalavara even. She's uh, been fantastic on the receiving end of many of the passes for Team Finland. And of course, uh, has a couple of medals from the early 2000s, including a World Ultimate Championships bronze from 2000, the Millennium Tournament. And a nice finisher there, Tomiko Vili, who, uh, when, he, when we asked him why did he start playing Frisbee, he posed the fantastic question, Benji, of why not? He's got, you know, it's a good, it's a very good question. Like, uh, I'd edit, I mean, uh, I'd have to try and find specifically the uh, the quote from one of the, from one of their teammates about it. Come back to me. All right, watch this space as we watch Best Before try and punch another one on the board in this championship. Reaching pass across the field, well reeled in by Joan Delante. La Monte now downfield. They're pinging this with a little bit more pace and purpose. La Monte. Back to Baderta. Now on the far sideline once more. Delahanty goes back to La Monte. And that one, just another focus error. Just wriggles its way through the grasp of Kevin Carbin. Yeah, it seems like they're uh, they're getting what my teammates have awarded me with in my second year of playing University Ultimate, the Stiffy Award. If the disc isn't hard enough, they won't catch it. On the far sideline, Mikhail Hasbacker. Down the line to Jarko Tyvokovsky. Now they've got a little bit of more lateral room to work with. Going for the inside shot. And it is zinged in from Olvio to Pio Hesbacker, making it 12-1 now. Well, another stat on the board for the number eight of Finland. It's weird calling them Team Finland, but they're, they're, that's what they've chosen as their club name. <laughs> and they, they deservedly so. They have so much experience representing their wonderful ultimate nation. But another look at that just straight, just error of execution and focus. Just seems to be not best before's game. This this is a perhaps just them finding their feet here on these changeable, unpredictable, sandy surfaces. Yeah, it can often be tip tricky to make the adjustment onto sand. A little bit of fun over there. A uh, potential athlete of the future, just ignoring the ultimate at hand, deciding that sa building sand castles and digging holes is much more fun right now. I mean, I must admit, don't don't know anyone hear this. I'm not I'm not a great beach goer. <sighs> so for me, for me, playing ultimate is the perfect way to utilise the sand. You're not wrong. But one shy of finishing this out. It'll be against the wind for Team Finland if they can get another turnover off this Nova Scotia-based side. And a big layout to underneath. They just really want it. This is fantastic. That could be the final turnover if the Finns can punch it in. It was Rote who managed to generate the block. Both players, full extension for it. Pings that one through, Shoranta. The lefty flicking around the back, Rote. That one always low, and that's the kind of been the difference. You see Marcio, who wasn't out there in Sardinia last year, broken collarbone. 
So uh, good to see him representing here. Going to the ground, makes that one, and trying to sing that one in. It's going to be a bookend of some quality as Yari Koiviko finds Mark Rhodes. And that is 13s, and that is game. In dominant fashion, Team Finland, they might just be wearing those very vintage cotton shirts, but their play can only be described as ruthless veteran seams. They just turned over so quickly and punched in. They had four points the entire game where they had any turnovers. It Just four out of their 13 scores. It was so, so <laughs> clinical. They, they, they only came out on offense twice and they didn't turn it over on either of those points. They were just so clean. Every D point they generated a block. Yep. Didn't always didn't always put them in, but best just, before. Just the one. <laughs> best before, I feel like the best is yet to come. Whereas for Team Finland, they are starting as they finished last time out in dominant fashion. Absolutely. Well, it really is a case of how you can build your connections through this championship. So hopefully best before can go on to higher heights, but we might be spinning our cams round, Benji. So just going to roll a uh, little replay package for you of the end of the uh, kind of the summary of this game. Team Finland beginning the tournament with a big win, 13-1 over best before of Canada, but didn't have it all their own way, the Finns. Best before, you know, a good cold to start from Team Finland, then the break, but best before showed that they, you know, they were able to, uh, to get some offense on the board, and we thought this could be a close, intense game here. Well, I had moments of closeness, moments of real intensity. Best before definitely were playing some fantastic defense as well as obviously that one score they did manage to, to sneak in. It really was just a case of a couple of unforced errors, maybe a bit of, you know, finding themselves. And the Finns just took everything away. You know, give them a look in. It was a little bit of zone, plenty of match defense, lots of bids, players flying across the sand. So hopefully, as you say, this isn't the best we'll see out of best before. The best is yet to come. and uh, They will go on to try and see how deep they can go in this championship. By the way, I just want to say I love that as well with that block that comes flying through from Rote. Afterwards, both players are on the floor and the, the best before player kind of reaches over to give him a tap on the back. Game played with a really good attitude and spirit all around, I think, actually, from the two sides here. And that is the first morning of WGGM BUCC in the books already. Hasn't time flown by, Hannah? Time flies when you're watching high quality Ultima on beautiful Golden Sands, Benji. So we get enough time to, uh, you know, maybe catch some rays, catch some zeds, whatever you fancy doing during our lunch break. We're back at 3.30 local time, which is in just under four hours time. So plenty of time to, to stretch off and do whatever it is you need to do. We have two more, hopefully, excellent games coming for you this afternoon. And, uh, you know, we've seen already how, uh, how well teams can play here on the sand. Oh, and we've got some, uh, some perhaps some uh, derbies, if you will. We've got Man Down versus Tragic Hips. I believe both of those teams hailing from North America, Benji. They are indeed. And then we go all European for our final game of the day at five o'clock local time. Lugette from France up against Flash of Great Britain. So indeed, another one where there's perhaps a little bit more at stake than just a uh, simple, plain game of ultimate frisbee out here on the beaches in Portimao. So we look forward to seeing you here in uh, just under four hours time for those. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this morning's coverage of the World Grand Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Uh, Hannah, I think there's a beachfront bar with our name on it somewhere. And uh, so you like the sound of that? Oh, absolutely. Put me in, coach. In which case, from all of us here at Ulti TV, we'll see you on the other side.
right now. He's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, my team. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. On the move, you can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Don't want to miss anything? There are loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on UltiCal, link in the description.